<laughs> how much did you pay for rent when you lived in Boulder? So how we're starting mm -hmm. this? Okay. <laughs> I paid twelve hundred dollars a month for including utilities. Including utilities for my half of a two bedroom apartment. I paid a thousand dollars a month, one thousand fifty, including utilities for a one bedroom apartment in Boulder. How much do you pay for rent now? <laughs> I pay nothing for rent now. If you're trying to embrace the like rent-free lifestyle, stay tuned. That's what this whole video is about. Yes. So um, we're going to basically go over the other things that might cost you money. Especially in the winter. Exactly. So this is our uh, cost to survive off-grid winter edition. Yeah. Let's get, get right into it. The first big thing I would say is our water. We have 30 gallons of water in the back and we fill it up about once a week. Costs us seven and ten dollars a week which is apparently sort of like a rabble raising amount because when we said that in another video we got a lot of comments people were like ten dollars a week for water but let, let, it, let me reiterate we refill spring water jugs with really really good filtered spring water we can drink all of our water there's nothing we're not worried about it we don't have to worry about cleaning out the tank because we have all those jugs if you haven't seen that video go check out our water video for sure and you'll understand why we spend ten dollars a week for water. So how much did you spend on water before? Between 40 and $60. Yeah, I was paying about $60 a month for my water bill. But that's totally, what was your electric bill? Yeah, my electric bill was probably like $130. Yeah, my electric bills have always been outrageous because I've always been a gamer nerd. And like before here, before I moved into the bus, I had a 50 inch 4K TV and like this massive PC setup. And my electric bill would have probably been about 150 to 200 a month. Yeah, but now no. for our electric, it's full free because it's full free <laughs> because we get our electricity from the sun, which is pretty cool. And these Christmas lights that you're seeing, we know it's not even Thanksgiving yet, but we don't care. These Christmas lights run um, are solar powered as well. We just got them off of Amazon for like fifteen bucks. They're awesome. They just charge separately from our whole system. The side note. Yeah, they're pretty cool though. They're super cool. Um, gas. Gas. So gasoline for our vehicle. Living. It's hard to say with the with the bus right now because there's two different sort of lifestyles you're going to lead in the bus. It's either going to be you're out traveling and going from town to town, staying in parking lots or wherever you can, or you're you're hunkered down at a home base. And as of right now, we're hunkered down at a home base, so we're really only using like relatively. We're relatively. like moving from home base to home base around Every few days. kind of the same couple. But we're town not area. traveling around the country. If we were traveling, we would be using. Quite a bit of gas. International turbo diesel engine, and how many miles to the gallon do you think we get? Between seven and ten. Yeah, so it's really not much at all. <laughs> so when we're when we're not driving around, when we're kind of hunkered down more of the winter time. We only spend about twenty dollars on gas a week, if that. Just to get to and from, get groceries mm -hmm. and whatever. If we're traveling, it can you know it can the sky's the limit for as much as you can spend on gas when you're traveling. If we're driving all day every day, we could burn through gas like. No problem, but yeah. we actually haven't really done that. Mm -hmm. So the other expense that we didn't have in the apartment, we have to buy firewood. Mm -hmm. So we have to keep this fire going when it's really cold. Really, I mean, every time we go into Tractor Supply, they, they give me this look like, wow, this is, you're buying a lot of wood. But really, it's only a you couple weeks it. worth for us. Yeah. yeah. So wood is $20 a week. We'll say $80. And it really is just because it's obviously been becoming more expensive as it's been getting colder. We used to only have to have the wood stove going at nighttime, and now we kind of have to have it going all day long for the most part. I do use these uh, really nice wood bricks and they burn for about four hours. Which is awesome. And you cut them in half. So you get a six pack for four bucks, which is fantastic. Cut it in half, you end up with 12 logs out of that. So the next big thing would be the amount of money we spend on propane. And in my last apartment, electricity and gas was all combined under XL. I'd say for all of that, I paid about 200. For all your utilities? Yeah, I mean, I was splitting it with someone, but. So when I had a gas bill, it was like during the winter, it was about $40 a month. And now on propane, we're spending 15 and 20 dollars a month for propane. All right, so that is all of our expenses. Yeah, That's what really. it costs to live on this bus. Of course you have like food expenses and whatever debts you may have, any other bills, but just for living on the bus, that's about it. It's pretty comparable to what we were paying before, I would say, in utilities. But of course, not having the $2,200 between the two of us every month is a huge, huge, huge money saver. The other really great things about this lifestyle, if you're still watching, 
By using less, you're making much less an environmental impact. And I think that's a really, really cool thing. It wasn't our intention to, to go green, so to speak, but in, in you know the solar was an investment to not have to pay for electricity, but it's also extremely environmentally sound. Like we don't have right. to pay for power. We don't plug in anywhere. Using and renewable resources. Exactly, all of our resources. We do use fuel, which is, you know, the propane's not great. But, and the uh, diesel, gas, a lean, but. Mm -hmm. But I, I like to think we make up for it with only using 30 gallons of water a week compared to the national average, which is 100 gallons per person per day. So hopefully that video was helpful helpful for you guys. So don't forget to share, like, subscribe. Yes, um, comment down below. We'd love to hear from you guys. It's been awesome connecting with you guys in the comments. Thank Bye. you so much for watching. I really hope this was useful, guys. And uh, stay tuned for our next video. Thanks. Have a great day. Have a good one, guys. Bye.